Young, use your roll. I think we're ready. All right. Yeah. Take the floor, sir. Oh, okay. Um, I like Secret Steam here. It's kind of like the same as what I'm using right now. He has a disable sor, disable Saurus. Um, though his midline is not the usual um, discard bug. I have a discard bug on my team. Um, so he has a beast. Is a beast. The on beast his is pretty cute, man. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> the beast I is think pretty it has cute. The, the sumo yeah, body. Yeah, the sumo type. body. Yeah, exactly. With a dude, with a dual blade and the revenge arrow. I mean, this is gonna be crazy. Yeah. I mean, we have Rust going in for an early veggie, early aggression right here from uh, Axie Global. Uh, we have Secret. You know, he's gonna be, he's gonna be. Um, I mean, basically, he's gonna, still gonna have the same energy um, on yeah. the, the next round. Them, both of them going into round two with usually four. for setups like Rust, they normally go for the kill um, somewhere round three, round four. Mm -hmm. that back door because you can't just go ahead and do four cards on a disable sword yeah i gotta die it's too tanky man so um normally they go for the kill round three round four so yeah pretty interesting to see here i mean unfortunately we have rush only with you know two bird cards but you know we have secrets plant down to 306 going in for that that sticky Ooh, <laughs> he thought that russ will be attacking oh yeah i thought that russ okay. good pass right there good fast right there uh for well, russ, russ got the uh the energy um advantage but uh, let's see if he gets the right cards here Oh, okay, that's sad. He doesn't get the backdoor combo. So Secret goes for the kill here. Ooh, okay, that's enough. Hmm. The crit! Oh, Ooh. there's... Th okay, oh. okay. 2 HP, 2 HP, man, that should be... Man. Okay, that's so sad. That's sad. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. R oh, round 5, he does it. Round 5. Okay, blackmail. Oh, that's overkill though. Overkill. He used up all his energy. I think, you know, he just really wants, uh, you know, to put it in the bag and take it home, man. Like, at yeah. this point, you have a beast all by himself. That sumo beast that we've been talking about. Uh. Uh, going in for the damage, 127. Ooh, okay. Revenge arrow, double knot crack, taking out Russ's midliner. Now it's a 1v1 entering round 7. Nice. Man, what's going to be here's happening? The thing. Uh, Secret's Beast has that anesthetic bait. So, it's gonna I be think, a little bit tanky. I think this is okay. it. Are we is going in gonna for be a draw? Enough, is this a draw? No! Secret! <laughs> no way! No it's way! It's gonna be a draw. Oh, no the... way. <laughs> What? Bro, bro oh. you... we thought it was gonna be a draw. Man, that's insane. <laughs> that last... Um... That dual break crit did it, man. That's insane, Ooh. man. Like, what a play right there from Come Secret. On. That sumo. <laughs> <laughs> that sumo, dude. Yeah. That Ooh. sumo beast. That sumo beast, man. You know, that's something else. I mean, wow. wow. I mean, Russ, you know, really, really great, you know, um, ener e like energy place, you know, energy manipulation mm -hmm. in the early rounds. Um, <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, dude, the sumo. The sumo <laughs> is the champion taking Ooh, out. Sumo saves the day. Exactly, hey. man. Who? Wow, actually, global like showing something like really good stuff right here for uh, <laughs> for the first game. And yeah. I mean, we have so you can see on screen um, a young Yujiro that mm -hmm. um, each like each player gets to play uh, each opponent, right? And it's gonna be a best of three. So oh, in okay, this case, we have we have um, we have secret. We have secret uh, mm -hmm. now with one point, and if he gets it two, then, then uh, that's gonna be a GG for Ash Global, and it's gonna be moved. They they they're gonna be having to pick the next player to go up against secret. So that's how it actually works. But I mean, uh, young, well, young Yujiro, like, what do you what mm -hmm. do you think about the last game, man? I mean, uh, as as I as I said, no, in the in the intro, I was kind of shocked that his midline wasn't the the usual. Um, discard bug, but I think it worked because this beast had an anesthetic base. I think yep. that was uh, what sealed the deal for um, for secret there. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely, man. 
I mean, both teams like really good lineups. Like, I really love that, um, you know, the front liner with, with a sticky. You like that's something that, you know, I've been uh, personally like also experimenting with. But, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. if you have to get you have to get the timing right. Uh, I mean, right, at, yeah. at the end of the day, you know, I mean, that's you got to remember that's one energy. That's one true, energy true. that you're risking. Uh, it's it's for me at this point, it's definitely more of an offense play. Uh, if you mm -hmm. are, you know, if your intention is to get your opponent stunned and maybe, you know, even like deal damage going through the armor um, in the next round. But, you know, if timed right, it could be a beautiful, beautiful combo. But, you know, at this, uh, you know, like what we saw, like what happened, you know, he, he totally missed it. He totally missed, you know, the yeah. you play in the early on and, you know, just gave his opponent like energy advantage. But, yeah, looking forward to the next game. And, you know, Young Yujiro, I actually uh, mentioned earlier the mm. emoji contest that we have so i'm gonna be flashing it on screen like real quick for shout out you know um if you guys if you guys want to win ygg merch we are giving out one ygg merch standard package that includes a ygg oh. cap a ygg mug and also a ygg sling bag and also stickers of course but you know everyone at home all you have to do to join to be able to win the ygg standard merch package is to share the stream on your page so all you have to do is share the stream on public it has to be public for our moderators to be able to check out if you are actually sharing it to your friends so that's all you have to do and we will be announcing the first batch of winners after round one happening in a I few think... more weeks so yeah well i think we're ready right i think it's a uh, game two yeah already here Oh Let's no! Go. Um, I'm not sure if they're al are they allowed to change lineups, man. Um, yes. So uh, okay. how it goes is that um, during after the matches th we give both teams three minutes. So during the three okay. minutes, it's considered as their huddle. Now all of them can come together and actually you know swap axes, change lineups. They can help. They can even go to the marketplace and buy a new axe if <laughs> they wanted to. But they are limited to three minutes to strategize and work together as a team for the next match. But you know, um, at this point, this is what I'm saying that you know Axie Infinity it doesn't have to be a solo game. Like it, right. it's actually I love what YGG has done in creating, you know, a team dynamic to it. We started it with the YGG Open and then now we are bringing it to the YGG Managers Cup. You know, just, you know, making sure that, you know, we get all the guilds together, all the players together, you know, just putting teamwork and sharing the just sharing the ideas and just making it more exciting and engaging for everyone. Uh, how about you, young Yujiro? Um, have you had um have you uh, have you played in a tournaments for Axie Infinity before? Um no, not ever. <laughs> but but I've why, tested why? a few. Yeah, I'd like yeah, to play, actually, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think I've seen you. I've watched you in LSL, right? You've actually yeah, LSL. casted for LSL. Awesome. So could you tell us more about that competition also? Because that's one of the best competitions that I've actually seen. Also, that was kind of unique though, and this one's different right now with uh, um, YMC because LSL tournament is just. Um, a standard build. The um, everyone has the same axes, uh, right? Yeah, the B mistaken. BBP, and they're not allowed right. to change. There was another tournament, uh, the same hosted by LSL, well, where they allowed players to change. Oh, okay. Um, but this is the first time wherein this tournament has that team um, potential to like do mind games, switch teams, and do counters with each other uh, against uh, other teams. So yeah, this is uh, the first time, and YGG has uh, done it. So interesting. Excited. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, yeah. they actually have um, another uh, another season coming up. So shout out to the guys from LSL for doing such yeah, a yeah. great job and know. helping out. You know, just the esports scene in Axie Infinity grow. But you know, here we are getting straight into the battle. We have Russ okay. down to 189 <laughs> HP and Secret up to 269, mm -hmm. but um, both of them with zero energy. And you know, yeah, what do you think is gonna be happening here, young Yujiro? Um, depending on the cards that they'll get, I think either uh, they will skip on the next round. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They consumed all their energy. They're gonna get um two energy next round. Maybe Russ will get some tail slaps. Some tail slaps, maybe. Oh, so he might uh, utilize that. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. I think. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, okay, so it goes for the kill. But I don't think it's gonna be enough though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't enough. I think Secret's not going to protect this plant anymore, okay. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe, you know, uh, now is a good time to put a sticky goo in there, but then, you know, he's, he's, not, <laughs> yeah. he's not gonna be doing anything. Like he's, he's gonna miss it, yeah, he's just gonna miss his tail slap, but you know, we have Secret going in for, uh, for the payback. Ooh, now Russ, okay. stunned, and also down to 234 HP, we have Russ going in for the aroma. Missing his tail slap, stunned. but it's a double revenge. Okay. Is it gonna be enough? Yes, it is. And here we go again. Yeah. That's sumo. That's oh, oh, dude. Okay. Uh, that's sumo beast. It's sumo. <laughs> that's sumo beast doing it, going at it again. Uh, down oh, to thirty-eight. Oh, it didn't kill the bird though. It didn't kill the bird. Yeah, I, I would have expected it to go down, but you know, um, now we have the bird. Uh, is this gonna be enough? The here's question. The... Is it gonna yeah, be enough? It will be. Um, disable sword versus that bird, bro. I think we already know what's up. <laughs> oh, that's Ooh. that's a that's a tanky, tanky oh, no. disable sword. Oh no! Oh All no! All right, here we go. That jump's gonna just kill it right away. Oh, oh. okay. Wow, Man. secret, secret. Wow, beautifully Ooh. played. Beautifully played. I mean. He's down 174 HP in the last round. The bird, unfortunately, you know, I mean, he was down, dude. He was down to his last few, yeah. dude. He was, he was, he, dude. He was like at, I don't know, five percent HP for, mm -hmm. for for the last <laughs> round. So it wouldn't have cooled it up. Um, I mean, the disables are put oh, up like quite I a bit of a shield. Uh, secret takes it for his team, right? Just uh, they get one point and yes. Okay. Yes, you're correct, actually. So secret now with two points and uh you know now we have actually global they need to put up their next player to go up against secret so pretty interesting stuff right here uh, big ggs to russ really great stuff um mm -hmm. showcased and yeah looking forward to who both of these teams will be having oh who will uh, actually global rather will be having up next let's go um what i know what i notice is um Bird beast plant. Uh huh. Bird beast plant setups are very predictable, right? Yeah. Uh, very straightforward. So it's very easy to play against. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, that's what where Secret had an advantage against Rust there. It's very predictable, and his midline was somewhat kind of a counter to, um. Russ's team because of that anesthetic bait, really. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, to I totally agree. I mean, you know, at this point, we have two very competitive players who will probably have been playing Axie Infinity for a long time. And, you right. know, I, you know I, I, this is what I've been saying, you know, with all the nerves and all the buffs, especially now we have, we actually have, you know, we have the off-season adjustments. We, used, yeah. we didn't used to have that. They only happened like once in a blue moon. But now, you know, this this is forcing you know players to get creative. You know, even you know maybe even trade Aki. It's actually something that I wanted to share um um with everyone. So I I was wondering like when would we be able to trade Axie? Like, you know, like put it on the marketplace, like I want to trade this Axie and then you make an offer and then maybe someone could bid back and then, you know, like something like that, oh. like how you trade Pokemon. That would be a pretty interesting factor that, you know, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe even, you know, burn a couple of SLP when you make some trades. And, you know, it mm -hmm. actually gives, you know, opportunities for the players to be able to, you know, just widen their knowledge, you know, just be able to experiment. Because for me, that's one of the most hardest, uh, it's one of the hardest parts of um, mm -hmm. being an Axie player. Like you actually have to test the axes that you want the theory craft you know has has to be tested in the field mm -hmm. before before right. you're, yeah you, before you know i mean because in theory exactly so you say like it's theory craft like in theory it might be good but it's happened to me many times actually man so you know i try to come up with these lineups and then when i start playing them like <laughs> <laughs> nothing happens <laughs> but hey um i, I totally get into it let's go okay so Actually, we see here Secret using the same team, right? Tactical Desi with a BMP. Okay, Bird Mech Plant. Um, hmm. Oh, so, I'm not sure if... Uh, I, I won't say that the Secret has an advantage here, but... 
because uh, the previous team, uh, I mean player rather, Russ, had an aqua for his mid line, right? Which, of course, we know um, gets affected by anesthetic bait. But it's different this time we're in uh, Tactical Desi has a mech for his mid line. So that anesthetic bait is not going to do much um, to protect that, uh, that sumo beast, man. But let's see. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, we still have that sumo, the sumo midliner <laughs> right there from Secret. You know, like pretty cool guy. <laughs> I mean, it hard to miss, dude. Really hard, really yeah. hard to miss. But you know, the question here is: with Tactical Desi, will Tactical Desi be the secret sauce into finally taking out Secret for uh, this second match? Yeah, I think uh, Tactical Desi is using. I think the previous season. Um, 19 i think this is one of the metas um mm -hmm. you know that axi kiss uh mech with a, a zero card yep. that was one of the the meta last season mm -hmm. if i'm not mistaken hmm. like i think yeah. you know like we have also like a death more exeter strike here reward which we mm. are seeing a mm. lot lot more you have heroic mm -hmm. reward from tactical death he's a beast right there I mean, mech right there but you know Mm, I think it's because um, what do you say? It's because of the additional bonus on the shield. Like so, now we have mechs and we have beasts getting a bit of you know like uh, lasting a bit longer uh, in the game yeah. compared to how they were used before. I mean, not to mention the card right. draw, right? So that's pretty useful mm -hmm. uh, as well for sure. That's right. Uh, we're still waiting for the cards though. Um. Hmm. The tactical Desi, you know, like this plant, like pretty interesting, like hotpot cactus, um, watering can, and the Sirius. So um, he's gonna be going up against a sticky goo, and a disguise. Um, a disguise, a plant mm -hmm. right here from a secret. Um, but then you know, hmm, he does have more damage just because of the cactus. Um, but hey. you know, I'm 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 not that I'm not that a fan of using plants as um as you know as damagers but you actually have no choice like at some point it's not enough that you just you know you're just full you're just a brick wall you also need to be able to you know use your plant to deal some damage and that's i think that's what we are seeing currently and also for the past seasons now we have you know we we have people getting creative with their plants like i've seen you know i've seen branch charge on there i've seen pakio in there yeah um, yeah there's a whole lot of variations that we could add to the plan but for me add you know up to this point cactus is still going to be the most powerful in my yeah. opinion that's just me that's just me i think you're right man um there was i think they even call that bruiser plants were in mm -hmm. uh they're kind of tanky but they can dish out a decent amount of damage as well um, yeah i agree totally agree so now we have oof we have the bird going in for that egg bomb oh, no Finally. anesthetic bait <laughs> I think that's gonna kill the bird. But hey, look, mech. Look at the mech, man. Look at yeah. the mech safety. Oh, hey, what happened there? Why didn't the egg bomb work? I thought you. I thought the disabled sword was going to hit the. Um, oh, a critical bird. right there. Oh, a critical. <laughs> Dude, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> that's gonna hurt. Oh, Secret. No. Secret taking out oh, no. Tactical Desi's dude, Tactical Desi's bird. Oh man. With the critical with oh, the headshot. Man. Dude, that's what I call a real headshot. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Pretty interesting stuff like right here. Secret still going at it. I mean showing no mercy. Showing no mercy to Axie Global. He wants the double you. He wants to take home the win. Yeah, man. I mean Um I really like I mean, it's just for me right now. I really like the disable sore uh, backline. Uh -huh. I think it's because it really didn't uh, get the nerfs enough. Mm -hmm. And I mean, any here's what I noticed with um, the axis right now with the meta. Uh, with every update and nerfs and buffs and all that, if your axis didn't get buffed or nerfed, it's still going to be uh, an, an OP axis. That's what I noticed. That's Even true. if it didn't get buffed, as long as it didn't get nerfed, it's gonna work.
Yeah, That's true. Time. Like, actually, like, I have a really, really good insight from um, from Nate, um, the head of gaming operations mm-hmm. from from YGG. So, when coming up with the lineups, like, I I, I, I totally agree with him, and I think this is like really, really kind of useful uh, advice from all the players out there. So, you wouldn't always want to have a full meta lineup, but the reason right. behind that is when you're a meta, like, you're bound to get nerfed or buffed. You know, I mean, <laughs> if you're that lucky. Um, for the next season or the off season so like a good combination if you are an early player or if you don't have that much axes in the game or you know if it's your first time getting into axie infinity like you're just trying it out so might as well get you know probably get a favorite like maybe a plant meta um because I, I think like plants tend to stay longer as metas mm-hmm. if i'm not mistaken and you know maybe just go for i mean don't be afraid to experiment like go with your gut i mean of course you have to do your research but you know you you might want to check out the cards that um that are that actually you know aren't quite that that, that aren't that aren't touched because these might actually be the ones that get nerfed you know uh, later on um but yeah really really good insight right there from uh, from nate um you know staying ahead of the curve like making sure that you know that everyone in the ygg community is equipped when making their um their teams um like how about you young yujiro like if you were to create a lineup like right now what lineup would that be i mean since you mentioned man about um sir nate i i also seek advice from him, I mean, mm-hmm. even before when I was uh, starting uh, with Axie Infinity, and I wanted to be competitive because um, I mean, here's the thing: Nate was like a consistent top leaderboard even before um, those uh, those top leaderboards right now. You know? Yeah. So he knows the game. He knows the game mechanics. Yeah. And uh, I seek advice from him, mm-hmm. especially with forming teams. So. Uh, yeah, since you mentioned, he also said that uh, you just don't try to chase the meta. Mm-hmm. Um, always have one Axie that um, either wasn't off, but wasn't nerfed really that hard. Yeah. So that's why I went with the uh, Disable Sore um, backline. I'm still switching up with what midline I can um, replace with a... Uh, double discard bug. Mm-hmm. Uh, so far, I'm I'm trying to trying to master um, that team. So yeah, it's kind of working out for me. Yeah, awesome. I mean, you get really, really good insight, you know, from from the OGs, definitely. Like Nate, uh, yeah. a really, really humble guy right here. You wouldn't, you know, like you'd always, you know, it's, he, he doesn't, he doesn't usually talk. Like if you see this I mean, guy in person, <laughs> like, uh, but I mean, yeah. dude, but I mean the the insight and you know, like basically the experience as being one of the OGs and his willingness to be able to help and you know teach other people what he knows is it's, it's it's priceless and that's you know that's what's really valuable uh for ygg uh, in, in that regard so shout out to nate um you know for doing a really really shout great job nate, for uh for i really community. have uh i really have huge respect for that that man bro um definitely definitely and a few words but yeah uh, if, if you he's very approachable though that's um, true you can help him and yeah he's a very cool very chill guy um shout out to you uh, Nate. Yeah, I, ho- I hope he's yeah. watching. And you know, everyone else at home, we'd like to make a shout out to our friends. Uh, we have uh, Hell March. Uh, we have our community mm-hmm. moderators. We have Gaiu. We have Polaris. And we also have Sefi, one of our uh, tournament moderators. And also to uh, Doble Dos Enero. She says, Boss hey, okay. and Boss Young Yujiro, good evening. Yeah, good evening to everyone. Yeah. Uh, out Spracky there. was also watching earlier. Yes, sir. Spracky, the one and only. <laughs> The one, oh, the gentle giant, the gentle giant, mm-hmm. Mr. Spracky. Shout out to you, man. We, we totally miss you. Like, can't wait, you know, for for everything to ease up so we could, uh, you know, hang out and see each other again. Yeah. Um, great, great times, great times. It's a good thing that we were able to see each other last year, um, yeah, you know, man. all together. And yeah, really, really cool stuff happening for YGG in 2022. Looking forward, you know, looking forward yeah. to seeing everyone again. Like, maybe even, you know, have YGG members from all over the world come and visit, yeah. you know, the Philippines. Um. Can't wait. Definitely, definitely, can't definitely, wait. definitely can't wait. <laughs> so now, true. I think we have a tactical Desi right here with the same lineup. The mech and the mid line, mm-hmm. the standard bird and the back, and also his plant, um, hotbot, cactus, and also watering can, and Sirius. So I think he's, you know, I mean, 
this is this is what I'm saying that um at times like you just need the confidence and you just need the commitment to right. your team because you know if you really if you know how to play your team if you know how to play your team mm -hmm. and you can time your cards right then you still can definitely put up a really really good fight up against anyone and I can't yeah. wait to see what's going to be turning out in the second game in the second mm -hmm. game for the second round of episode six we're actually in episode six off the manager's cup tonight young yujiro right i mean since you mentioned that man um it's true that not all players can like but there are teams that you cannot play well and there are also teams that even if it's not the meta you can play them well so uh th that's why the uh, the advice is not to always chase the meta try to find a team that suits you because uh, not all teams are for everyone. <laughs> I, uh -huh. That's one of the mistakes I've made. Uh, to be honest, I, there was a time I tried to chase the meta, I think somewhere around Season 18. Okay. And I just failed because, <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, not all teams are for everyone. There are teams that you are good at l playing and utilizing. So just try to master um team, right? That's and true. Try to find your, your strength. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's very true. Like especially also like me when I started playing in the earlier days, like maybe mid last year. So um I had I had a double aqua uh double okay. aqua plant and I had an off tank aqua with deep sea gore and <laughs> um and sponge and shipwreck. So I mean oh, okay. at first when I started playing it, like I really didn't understand like why this was the lineup that my friend built for me. So shout out to Mr. Chad O'Malley, um, the guy who got me into Axie Infinity. But yeah, oh, okay. he gave me this lineup and you know, like he explained to me that um it's a really good standard lineup because not only do you have the damage, but also like you're quite sturdy. You're gonna last longer in the games if you time your cards and you know play your energies right. So shout out to Steffi also in the comments right there. But um, like my, my point is like at first I really didn't understand my lineup. I really didn't understand. But after practice, practice, practice. So yeah, down from yeah. one two going up to like one eight. I even at one point like the standard lineup of mine. Like I've even been able to reach it like at around like two thousand three hundred MMR. Like at that point, I mean at that at that time that was already like pretty high like especially for me i'm not a competitive player but you know i take i really took pride in being able to learn um, not only my lineup but also learning all the other cards of the opponents you know getting the time mm -hmm. getting the time of my plays right and you know maybe even play a, a little bit of mental warfare like in between but you know shout out to every all the esports players you know who's yeah. who's like grinding i see all the community i mean i've seen a lot a lot of streamers um and especially also like in uh, in the philippines on facebook mm. on twitch mm. you know just grinding it out man 24 7 like they even do marathon right. streams where they totally grind their mmr Ooh. even without slp i mean even without yeah, um, yeah. energy so yeah. like props to these I've guys man um yeah since you noticed um i'm having a hard time managing some of my teams to be honest because uh i think it's not really about uh the team about the sometimes it's about the scholar really um oh so it's just a tip to all the scholars out there don't just master your team but master all the cards in axie in general yeah that's true it will really help it will really help and that's one of the the failures i think as a manager as well i i reminding my scholars but you know some of my scholars are busy with school and work and all that stuff but so they don't have really time to study so i mean the the cards so uh-huh yeah i agree i'm trying to manage my my uh, scholarship better i totally agree um, uh, i mean so just some quick info um sorry to cut you off there young user so uh, mm -hmm. unfortunately we've experienced um a spectator bug where the oh. game proceeds without uh without showing really solid members really really real real guild mates if you know what i mean and uh, yeah, we are yeah. jumping right into the game let's All go right. oh okay tactical desi going for the uh, early aggression just up all his energy but wasn't enough kill secrets plant um you think <laughs> this is a time where secret uses that sticky goo and, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <it's fine. laughs> With 11 HP, it's kind of tricky though. No, he um, does. 
He does. He does go for uh, for the sticky plus uh, the spicy and also the veggie bite. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I... that's not gonna be taking out the shield. Almost died there. <laughs> almost died. Almost, almost died. died. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. All right. So that's. Hey, wait. Why did he go for that? Oh, okay. Ooh. They knew his plant was uh, gonna be dead, so he just used the zero card. Dude, that, that beast and 200 hmm. shield, man, that's something else. <laughs> I told you, man, that anesthetic bait is going to be a pain in the arse. <laughs> Excuse me. And, yeah, double anesthetic right there. Um, oof. Man, we are seeing okay. the effects. The effects of the anesthetic, like Tactical Jesse all using right. up all his cards, but still has two energy okay. to play with going into round five. Man. I think that's gonna be enough. Yeah, it will. Secret. Ooh. Secret, I think, think, think <laughs> we'll be taking yeah. this W. Ooh, he goes for the back door, though. Goes in for the back door. Um, I'm not sure why. Um, but then now we have the beast oh, down man. to 69 HP. Yeah. The bird down 154 still has the speed advantage, but I think wow. we'll be going down in Secret. this third Man. game. This guy Secret. is something. Secret. Yes, sir. <laughs> Secret the undefeated. I wonder what his secret sauce is, man. <laughs> I wonder what yeah. his secret sauce Ooh. is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Um. I think it has really had something to do with his lineup. I'm not saying it is the meta. It's just that, uh, that kind of lineup right now. Yeah. Wasn't. Wasn't nerf. Yeah. It wasn't buff. So anything that wasn't nerfed or buff. Is going to it's be good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You're good. Yeah. You're safe. Not You're safe. Be OP, but it's it's good. So, <laughs> and you know, um, yeah, I mean, CPEG Art Guild, like really, really great stuff. Um, let's jump right into the game. Hey, okay, so we the thing right now the, the usual double discard bug, the Pocky backline, uh, that that's really the I think that's one of the metas right now. Mm -hmm. Um, here's the thing. Um, Secret's team doesn't have. Um, I mean, all its damage goes through anesthetic base, so I'm yeah. not sure if it's gonna do much though. Kuyu Marv's with the hmm. double bug lineup right there. A bit of discard, <laughs> like a lot, whole of damage. Yeah. <laughs> um, the bird with the Pocky, like pretty interesting. Um, oof, 177 damage, ouch! And the black male <laughs> taking Man. out Secrets Plant in round four. Now we have the Disable Sword going in for the 153, Ooh. missing the second shot, but we still have the Chomp. Yep. Secret. Oh, is this going to be enough? No, it's not, unfortunately. Now we have Anesthetic going in for the third glance and the Bug Splat. No cards to discard, unfortunately. We are this uh oh. this game he has no cards yeah he has no he cards has no... man <laughs> that's the thing that's the thing against uh the, the double discard lineup man so annoying like um you're torn between Ow. using using your cards and saving Ooh, up a critical MVP. a critical for Kuya <laughs> Marbs no that, that's it right there that's it that's a GG's yeah, that's it that's it man oh wow oof Wow, beautifully played. Oh, double top, man. The double top. Nice. Right when he needed it GGs. the most. GG's, man. Wow, a big GG Sakuya Marvs, man. What do you think about the game, man? Yeah, I mean, um, so that was what I was saying, right? Um, Secret decided not to switch his team. Yeah. And then, you know, Kuya Marvs just whips out the <laughs> double discard Pocky. Yeah. Um, I know what you mean. I mean, uh, pr pretty surprising. I mean, the double discard, uh, the pocket, the bird with the pocky. Like, dude, yeah. he dealt 177 damage. <laughs> 177 so damage. Yeah, I mean, way definitely goes a long way. And uh, there you have it. Jumping right into the game. <laughs> Check it out, man. Oh. Check it out. What do you think about this? Yo, I told you, man. Secret. Was... Did he hear me? <laughs> yeah, you called it. You oh. called it. Definitely, bro. <laughs> I called it. But here's the thing, he's now using a double discard bug midline. So, <clears throat> his current team is somewhat similar 
what I'm using right now. Yeah. Man. Just that my plant has a beach for the horn, mm-hmm. and I have a Bidens. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Interesting. Double zero. Yeah, but it's max HP, so. Mm-hmm. Um. And you, you see, yeah, um, if, if you look at secrets of plant right there, uh, with the scar eyes, dude, he's mad. He got, <laughs> he's pissed. Ready for vengeance, man. Yeah, like Kuya Marms pissed him off, and like going in into round we uh, round one, we have this, we have the disabled sword going in for the headshot, and the vine, and also that ooh right. critical, critical with a vine dagger. I mean, okay. critical at the wrong place, taking out the bug. <laughs> or unfortunately not, he's down to 19 HP going into round two. Ooh, now you have that. Ooh, the... Ow, 177, man. Oh, but the card draws, man. That tail was used at the right time. A bit of a heal right there for the front line of yep. um, Secrets, Plant, Three Plants, taking out another car down to 122 HP. Now we have Queen Marvelous Bird going in for the double talk and the all out shot. Gonna be healing a bit of a damage to himself okay. down to 219. Going in for that discard and the bug splat. Now both of them, both of them quite oh, that's a gonna hurt. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> 194. And that Misses hurts. it! Mi- it's oh. enough though. Yes! Wow! Secret, dude. Oh. The 200 shield oh. down to the drain just because of the double talk with the sleep from Kuya Morbs right there. Yeah. And now going back for who's for revenge? Book splat, third glance, anesthetic oh, bait. Ow, oh, a critical! No! No! No way! Oh what? my. What? That's okay, insane! So I think. I think that should yeah, do this it. Is gonna be, that should, should do it. Should man, should do the double talk, double pocky. Oh my! G oh, oh, whoa! Okay. What? Oh! Ouch! My <laughs> cow! Hundred seventy. Holy wow! Okay. That's insane, Kuya Mars. Pretty impressive. Nice. Wow! We're actually seeing um what. We were somewhat expecting or hoping for. Yeah. We are Marbs picking up the whole Blackpool team, <laughs> carrying his uh, team in, in his shoulder, man. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we are Marbs, dude. Or, dude, out with a vengeance for Axie yeah. Global right there. Like, I bet we have the whole community of the Axie Global guys just cheering and rooting for um, Kuya yes. Marbs, man, that's insane, dude. Kuya Marbs, like, what a show! What- yeah, the plan. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Like, I myself, uh, for some of my scholars, um, I've been running a, um, a, a an Aqua Frontline um, with mm. with a Slippery Shield. Um, <clears throat> I don't know oh. why. Like, um, I know he's. Hey, that's annoying, man. Yeah, but um, the problem that I've had with it is, you know, if you don't get the slippery shield when you need it the most, right? Um, right. you know, I mean, your 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 mid your frontline Avra could easily what? go bye bye. What's the tail though? What's the tail for that you use? I usually or... so my, what I usually put in my frontline it's a slippery shield uh, plus a scaly a scaly lunge for the horn and then for the tail a tail okay. slap and you know maybe a damage car like in between I um see. but i mean it, oh it's... <laughs> i called it again man look at that <laughs> team yeah. you exactly. it up once. why because these are like I'm not sure if it's good against uh, but it can it's a decent team that goes uh, up against um those double discard uh, pocky teams i've seen that couple of times i'm i've been watching uh, streamers on the top leaderboards uh-huh. uh double ac- double aqua mut- mutated aquas man yeah are also uh, notorious <laughs> so let's see if hans can play play this out well yeah uh, i mean yeah really risky fishy. fish plus the arc right there like first card in action 106 damage double tail slap going in for yeah an upstream or is that a goldfish <laughs> but then we have hans just being totally aggressive ow dude that, yeah dude that nerf on <laughs> the nerf <laughs> on, i mean the buff on on the carrot hammer uh yeah. something else like it's five damage but <laughs> you know <laughs> i don't know really excited to see because uh, people have stopped what is, what using carrot think? yeah yeah uh, what do you think about the this the tail slap 
animation, man. Do you think it's just too much or? <laughs> not much. It's really funny to see, man. I think the question uh, that you should be asking, Yujiro, is what do you think about the act he's walking? Because now, now, I mean, they did have feet, but I mean, I don't uh -huh. know how to feel, man. Like, all these acties, like, jumping and, you know, like, instead of floating, uh -huh. um, like, on your screen. Pretty cute. Ooh, harder damage with an Ooh. aesthetic base! Ow! Ooh, okay. Oh. Ooh, Ooh right. another critical! Oh no. oh, no. Man, hands! Oh, hands! Oh, Ooh, not going down without a fight. Kuya Marv's down to his last two actions with the last stand for the bug. Hans, no choice, but he has to break through. Now yeah. we have Kuya Marv's going in for the painful damage. I think this is going to be it. A double all out shot taking out Hans in round six. And oh that is a GG, my friends. Kuya Marv's, man. Whew. Wow. Man. I mean, what happened right there? Like, I mean, you were able to call, you know, that Arco Risky Fish Tail <laughs> Slap. Um, I think it, uh, the crits also uh, did it for the Marvs. I mean, there are times even personally when I stream. Yeah. I just get tilted immediately with the crits, man, because... <laughs> oh, for sure. Just, Tell it, me about it. It just destroys your... Your your play, even if you like exactly. count the count the energy, count the enemy cards. Yeah. Once you you um your enemy gets gets a crit, I mean it destroys your play. It it, it... You get you know if they get that perfect formula, <laughs> yeah. then um I see actually infinity you know um being played by but, more uh, and more and more players edge, all man, around so... the world, regardless of the price of SLP. Yeah, you right, were saying. So, but, uh yeah, because actually is bleeding edge, so it has a long way to go. But I'm pretty sure um, there's very, very uh, big room for improvement. But I think Axie can do it. I mean, oh, yeah, definitely. The community and the, the devs right now. I'm um, pretty positive. Yeah, I mean, as everyone says, you know, it's a long-term play. Uh, I mean, uh, how, do you, how do you say it? Like, um, quick bucks, you know, are not that sustainable. I mean, we did yeah. enjoy... We did enjoy quite of a pump for SLP like in the past year, but I love to see you know the okay. sweet spot for SLP and for Axie and uh, yeah. but we're still very early. Um, you know, like Lamplay hasn't even been released yet, so a lot of uh, stuff to look out for um, for the game. But you know, jumping in right to game into game two for <laughs> Queen Mars versus Hans. Ooh, <laughs> Aqua man. Hans was like, "Oh, you got the double bug." I go for the <laughs> triple Aqua. Yeah, pretty, pretty like pretty. Uh, I mean, pretty interesting uh, lineup right here. He still has that uh, anemone and the bottom um, arrangement for uh, for um, for his team right there from Hans. Unfortunately, the anemones won't Ooh, be kicking man. in. Now we have Kuor Marv's like taking out his old hand. There's nothing left in his hand, man. There's nothing left in his hand. <laughs> Going in for the double talk. I mean, Kuya Marv's man. This guy's something. He's he knows on how to play his team. fire. This yeah. guy is on fire, dude. One thing's for sure, like this guy knows how to play his lineup. That's true. That's true. He's gonna live. Oh. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we have Hans with Ooh. the speed buff taking out oh, Kuya Morbs. Nice wow. Wow, that did the nice. trick, though. Ooh. That's speed that buff. Did the, yeah, that that did a trick. That did the trick. Um, I mean, without, um, is that a goldfish? Without a goldfish? Is that a goldfish? Yeah, or that was. Uh, okay. Koi. There was the koi. Okay, yeah. with a koi, I mean, you know, without that, dude, I mean, Kuya Marvis would have taken it out. I mean, yeah, taken I the W. Sure. That's right. Not, I mean, I don't mean to get ahead of myself here, but definitely <laughs> those are what we are looking at, um, for Whoa. utility. Going into the game, let's go. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not a god reptile, though, but it's a dusk. Uh, backline with reptile cards, uh, which is really dangerous. Um, Equia Marv's here is whipping out that. It has a double lunch. Exactly, man. Like this is what I've been saying, dude. Don't go with a meta. Try to cook some something else up. I mean, yeah. a double scaly lunge right there. I mean, for me, this this card is pretty. You know, it's pretty. Uh, how do you say it? It's underestimated. I mean, yeah, fifty yeah. shield for one hundred ten damage. Plus the bonus That's if you true. get to play it in a chain. 
I mean, that's yeah. gonna be, dude. That's gonna be a lot of damage. That's gonna hurt, oh, man. That's, that's right. Uh, scale launch wasn't buffed, wasn't nerfed either. So yeah, <laughs> it it was. Uh, um, exactly. Kinda, I mean, forgot about it. So. Yeah. Right. I mean, th not to mention, man. Like this card also works with feather lunge. So um, how I play it is, oh. I do have, I do have a back line. Um, as I mentioned, mm. like my front line scaly. I do have a back line, um, which uh, which has a it was an aqua. It's also an aqua, but actually has a feather lunge instead Ooh, of scaly okay. to keep get, to keep the speed. <laughs> But I mean, right here we have Kuya Marv using his Kaylee lunge um, to you know just beef up, beef up both yes. his midline and his backline for uh, pull, to put that up um, quite line, a shield. If uh, I mentioned earlier, has reptile cards, but it has it's a dusk. So uh, as we all know, dusk is like a better version of reptile. It's faster, yeah. it's tankier. So yeah. this is gonna hurt, man. If if Hans takes this beyond round five. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, the tiny dino is gonna come into play. I agree. I mean, this is what you were talking about earlier. I mean, having, um, you know, having having this um the god reptile that you were saying. But I mean, this is quite of um how do you say it? Quite of um a hybrid of um of the god reptile. But mm -hmm. I mean, we do have the tiny dino, the tiny swing to watch out for. Um, though we do have. Hans's aquas with the speed buffs for the swift escape um you know this might be a bit tricky because uh he's always gonna be going first though though you gotta remember like Kuya Marv's back line is <laughs> quite of a wall also yeah that's a wall man that's a wall with a scaly lunge it's uh uh 50 shield um Kind of tricky though, cause it's a dusk. I'm not sure uh, what is the, uh, what's the speed, but I'm pretty sure it's still slower compared to Aqua. So gonna get gotcha. that uh, Otaro bite. Uh, uh -huh. I mean, ability, so. just to jump in real quick here, um, Young Yujiro. So we are experiencing a spectator bug once again, mm. but we have news from Mike, our head of esports, that we have okay. our winner, which is Kuya Mars. Oh, nice. Ooh, okay. What? And okay. game. This is the last game, or this is yeah, the last is. match. This is the last matchup. So we have Kuya <laughs> Mars versus Double Anemone. Hold on. Would have thought he'd be whipping the Double Anemone um, bird. A A B. They call it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are even calling this like. A, a no-brainer uh, setup. I, I, yeah. I won't say so, because uh, still, if you're not, uh, if the cards aren't dealt right and you don't use it right, um, it's gonna screw up your your gameplay. So, not a no-brainer lineup. It's just that it, it's a decent team. Yeah, so, I totally agree. I mean, um, if. If you were to give this lineup to a scholar who's playing Axie for the first time, I mean, it's gonna be hard because this lineup right. actually needs a lot of really, really good timing and you know, really, really good energy place right there. I mean, you do have an abundance of energy with the double T slap as we're seeing right now, but being able to pull off those heals at the right time when you need it the most is gonna be the most. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be the hardest part rather. It's gonna be the hardest part. And I've seen a VMG. A VMG is famous for. Or, um, you know, uh, playing yeah, the man, double man. anemone uh, lineup. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's still running the same um the same team, but yeah, that's uh, where I've seen him. I actually learned a lot from that guy. Yeah, um, I even messaged him personally, and you know, congratulated him uh, because he was one of the top leaderboards. And I asked permission and said, hey, "Can I copy your your build for one of my scholars?" And yeah. Said, yeah, just go ahead, man. It's a pleasure. Uh, and he said that so yeah yeah pretty yeah. talented guy right there like i hope we get to see him in one of our axie um mm. axie infinity boot camps again but getting right back into the game kuya marvin's back line right there unfortunately like taken out and now it's gonna be a 2v3 going into round four with paul wong with an energy advantage going yeah. to round five with a six energy a lot of stack a lot a lot a lot of stack to put out to put up back his hps with the heal cards that he has. 
Poong going in for the damage. Egg Bomb right there and the Blackmail to wrap things up. Now going in for that Anemone. 100 Egg HP to heal. Both of his axes back to 100% HP. Now we oh, have Kuya Marvs with, with the Revenge. 3v1. 3v1. What do you think is going to be happening here, young Yujiro? Um, there are still scenarios where plants or reptiles with Idens and Zigzag can do 3v1. But Poong here is just going to have to save up on his energy. We can burst uh, Kuya Marvs. But let's see. I mean, maybe Kuya Marvs gets some crits. Ooh. No. <laughs> totally agree, man. Like, the only thing right here is Kuya Marv's. I don't think he has enough damage, man. Yeah. He's gonna need. He's gonna need. Dude, he's gonna need. I don't know. Maybe. Crit. Double crit and... from his. Uh, from his. Uh, scaly lunge. Um, yeah. But even that. I mean, he's not a reptile to deal a lot more damage. And he doesn't have. The, uh, the liberty to. You know, use that much cards because of his. Uh, energy right now. So. Uh, po Wong is just gonna save up to to burst Kuya Marv's uh, yeah. plan. I mean, Kuya Marv's in a bit of a conundrum right here, but we have yeah. him with a double cleanse set, so he's gonna be prolonging this game as much as he can. The question is, will it be enough? Will it be enough for him to be taking Po Wong to the Blood Moon and, you know, just maybe doing a couple drain bites the yeah. whole time? <laughs> Um, you know, Good, just play probably. double drain bite every turn. Um, but even then, like, you know, you're going up against, dude, three axes, not to mention a bird in the back line with a lot of damage. But so I think... It's taking a while, though. Are we experiencing another bug, bro? Yeah, so we are back into the spectator bug. But everyone at home, hang in there because we will be giving you an update of who will be winning the game soon. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, um, Axie Infinity still has a lot of bugs and this has That's been right. going on for quite a while now. Um, but eventually, like, we hope that this gets patched and we get everyone a better, better streaming experience. So everyone at home, please bear with us and, you know, appreciate yeah. the support for the YGG Managers Cup because this is a charity tournament and, you know, we are in it to help people from the philippines and yeah shout out to everyone who's still tuned in despite our technical difficulties you guys are the heroes that's right we got 1.6 k viewers on on the facebook live stream man so shout out to everyone um yeah just uh, just keep supporting even though we're having some technical difficulties it, it just happens right um again axis bleeding edge technology um servers can no, sometimes uh, do this. Um, yeah, just uh, just keep supporting, keep supporting this uh, amazing event. This is for the charity, so yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. You totally agree. But yeah, while we wait for the announcement of the winner of this last match, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna be going ahead and. In uh, that's the same uh, profile picture I have. I was there, gonna so... mention, yeah, sick, sick shirt, man, sick jersey. Yeah, thanks. Who made the um, artwork for your shirt? Uh, did you make it also? Um, no, it was a scholar that I uh, onboarded, uh, John Banya. Shout Banya. out to John, man, sick, sick stuff yeah. right there. I hope we could get him uh, as uh, one of our artists also in YGG. Sick stuff, man. Yeah, nice. So now we have now this is what I've been saying. So Kuya Marv's <laughs> actually bringing out he yeah, actually brought out the feather, the lunge. feather lunge, a feather lunge with a Ooh. bug splat. Let me clear eyes, a risky fish, and also the tail slap. Pretty uh, dude, this is something else. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. you know the bug splat won't be as effective on the aquas, but. E I mean, but you know now we have a triple scaly synergy going on right there. Mm -hmm. Maybe Kuya Marvs was expect expecting for a um, some bugs to pull along, but uh, fortunately, mm. uh, he doesn't switch up his theme. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Kuya Marvs whipping out the. Uh, I think it's safe to say this is a, a horny team. <laughs> a horny team. With all that uh, horns. Now, as we mentioned, the book's plat, the feather lunge, the risky fish, 
And the tail slap still at 54 speed. Now we have a reptile with a Gotaro, a Skiggly Lodge, and Bullcork, mm -hmm. and a Tiny Swing. Yeah. Pretty interesting to see how the Bullcork will be taking into action right here since we have the bird with ranged cards and also an image yes, yes. with a range. I mean, um, not as efficient as uh, I would say, but um, I mean, if this was your god reptile, maybe you know a lot be a lot more yeah. useful. Um, but yes, I mean, Kuya Marv's tried and tested. This guy knows his stuff. Um, but yeah, looking forward to see what he has in store for us tonight. I mean, there was an instance. I mean, there are a lot of instances wherein I used that double ref reflect reptile, and I have won a lot of games, uh, three versus one, three v one uh -huh. matches easy for a uh -huh. double reflect uh rep backline reptile so yeah, as you mentioned this is gonna be um it could work uh, um it's it's gonna be interesting how kuya marvs will uh use the bull quark because uh wong has a bird so <laughs> that's all range cards so yeah i totally agree hmm now we are, you know, this might be actually like the last game for Axie uh, Global. If Fallen wins, um, the Blackpool Academy Apes will be taking the W and moving on to the next round. But if Kuya Marvs is able to put up a fight, we are yeah. going to be going to sudden death, as I mentioned earlier. Um, I mean, what do you think would be the best play for Kuya Marvs right here, uh, young Yujiro? Backline rep. I think if um, they has to, to switch his lineup, really. Um, maybe if he has a reptile mm -hmm. with uh, an earlier burst um, potential, Back then maybe uh, oh. he he's, he will have a chance to win against if Poong decides to keep that current lineup as well. Gotcha. So, he lacks uh, early damage potential. Kuya Marbs, he cannot burst. Uh, not unless if he does like a chain of um, lunges. So. Uh huh. I mean, luck of the draw right here. We are still waiting for the first game to start, but we might be having actually technical difficulties once again. Oh, but, man. but everyone just hang in there. I know everyone's excited. Do we have a word? Do we have a word? Is it a one-one? Oh, it is. A, is it a one-one? Wait, isn't updated yet? Yeah, I think we just jumped right into the game. Another spectator bug right there. We are waiting for the advice from our head of esports, but everyone at home, stay tuned. Hang in there. Mm. We will be giving you an update, really, uh, in a bit, uh, shortly. Uh, Raymart Pockies Mones Octaviano says just pass through the three rounds and that's how you finish that anemone. Mm. Uh, what yeah, do you think about that? Uh, I I would say that's a, that's a decent um, advice. Because <laughs> um, there was a time when I also used a double reptile plant up and normally I would um, in fact here's the thing there, there was a uh, time when I used a my, my setup was really double reptile with a dusk uh, front line uh -huh. and specifically against double anemones or double aquas I had oh. an aqua stock uh, for the back there you go the game that everyone's been waiting for so okay. I think we did a restart but yeah we are uh, back in the game or a replay um, I think uh, I think they restarted the oh, game the crit. For a second. <laughs> Ooh, the crit on the zigzag okay Boong does. Oh, okay. So, I think here's what Kuya Marvs did for his team. He had a, an aqua backline so that Boong's um, backdoor will not target his backline first. It goes through the midline. I think that's what. Uh, that's the reason why he does an aqua midline. Uh huh. Uh, to totally have it agree. As a faster axie, because that was the one of uh, the mistakes there. Oh! Uh, oh! So this is it. Um. 
A 2v1 with Kuya Martin, still with his plan, and also his backline arrived. They're going to be dealing quite a bit of a damage. 161, ouch! Tiny swing! Dude, you know tiny swing! <laughs> Okay, I think I see what Kuya Marvs did there, because the last first game, um, the mistake was his backline got backdoored, um, uh -huh. first and got lip, uh, you know, I, so, uh, he was thinking, I have a midline that's faster than my backline, so that if Po Wong decides to go for a backdoor, uh, yeah, also Z Z the. Uh... In fact, the backline. That, uh, the one I said, uh, semi god reptile backline that I have. Yeah, I bought it from Z. No <laughs> way, really? Yeah. <laughs> so how did that end up oh. happening? So did you see him? Did you see the Axie in the marketplace, or did you approach him oh. personally? Yeah, I, I saw it on the marketplace, and I, I bookmarked it because I was uh, hoping to buy it. I was saving up to buy it at somewhere around zero point uh, twenty three, and I didn't have enough funds. I only had zero point two. And I kept on, you know, checking it out, and then hey, someone bought it, and it was Z. So I, I approached them on Discord and said, "That's a nice backline. I really saved up for that." And he said, "Hey, I'm not using it. If you want, you can buy it from me." I said, "I only have 0.2." So he said, "Okay, I'll give this out for 0.2." And yeah, gave it to me at a discount. <laughs> and it's a very, very strong backline. I, I reached my. My highest MMR was somewhere around 2,700 with that backline. Mm -hmm. He's an 18. He's Ooh, an 18. Wow. I was able to uh, reach up 300, I think. And and then the meta changed. Then <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't That's reach. I uh, couldn't reach 25 anymore. But uh, yeah, good old days. <laughs> so now we have Kuyomars going in for the early damage of Zigzag plus the hot butt. Bringing Paul Wong's plan down to 252. He his team. Yeah, he doesn't switch his team. Sticking to his guns, Kuya Marv's, um, you know, just you know, believe Ooh. that this lineup could be taking uh, the W. And, you know, we have Paul Wong going in for the Dark Swoop <laughs> Egg Bomb. That, uh, door again. It's not going to be enough, though. It won't. Ooh, 143! <laughs> that scaly lunge in action. Feather lunge, rather, in Ooh, action. Nice. Now we oh. have Kuyamarv's calculated. On point with the damage right there, not wasting any cards. Now we have Pong with his mm. Rim Beast, and then going in. Ooh, for the jumbo critical, plus the nut crack. Yeah, that's Is gonna be a lot it? of energy. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm on the edge of my seat right now. I hope you can see. Wait, what... look oh, at this. whoa! Mercy to be a gunner. <laughs> oh no, a critical, oh a critical! But unfortunately, we have Kuya Marvs. Oh, yo, double bulwark. Double this bulwark. is Come it. On. This is it, or is it? It's faster than the beast. Oh, <laughs> there this is it. you go. Oh, we oh, have oh, Axie Global. Axie Global, oh ladies and gentlemen. The oh unexpected. God. The miracle. This man is something, man. Dude. Wow. Axie Global with the GGs. GG. Taking out Blackpool Academy from the competition. Congratulations. We have our winner. Congratulations yeah. to Axie Global. For taking home the win. Kuya Marvs has shown us <laughs> something else tonight. That reverse Woo! sweep. Reverse sweep, man. True. Kuya Marvs, the Grim Reaper, says Shiro Shiro in the comments. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gee. Wow. What happened right there, man? Oh, wow. What I, I think I mentioned that earlier. I wanted to see that. What if? know that big what if and Kuya Marv's uh proves this right <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy that's very insane accurate. on his that's shoulders insane, dude huge, uh but huge shout out right. though to um that's black crazy Ape. That's i mean very sorry insane. black pool 
Uh, yeah, of course, of course. We have Blackpool in the house in at Shadow 2, Saratobi, and the whole of the Blackpool finance team. Um, these guys, you know, doing doing great stuff for the community. Um, and uh, ever since the start, these are the OGs. But, you know, unfortunately, we have the Young Guns making a name for themselves tonight. We have Axie Global taking the W. That's what I love about um, Axie Infinity, man. Not just in the pro scene, but in the, the game in general, especially in the arena. Uh -huh. Like, um, uh, it's not predictable in a way. That, uh, the, the game could still go both ways. And I totally agree with you, man. Yeah, th that's what happened here right now. That's what happened. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Now, now we have, we have Axie Global going on to the next round. This is a correction right here. We have Meta T8 who won from last week. Meta T8 or Meditate will be facing Meditate. Axie Global. Meditate MT8. The OGs, shout out to Elijah and to Thebes and also to the whole team right there. Looking forward to seeing these guys in action once again. And Axie Global taking the W for tonight, carried by the team captain himself, um, Kuya Marvs. Let's go. And again, yeah, shout again. out to everyone. 1v3, Russell Medrano says in the comments. Yeah, definitely, man. Like, really, really huge stuff right there. And we are going to be having, we're going, to, we're going to be having our last two teams, or last four Ooh, yeah. teams rather, and last four. two winning teams for the YGG Managers Cup. We are yet to look out for those people competing. We are excited. The lineup is almost complete. Yes. I think, uh, yeah, we're, we'll, we'll be going for, oh, it's not yet uh, semi-final, right? 